Hi everyone, you have fun to play next. We're bringing everything that is awesome, and I do mean awesome in gaming. This is Royal Romances. They have a couple of um, medieval based um, games that kind of rely on. Well, you'll see. Royal Romances is one of them. Um, there's um, Gate to Another World, there's Living Legends, and they don't, uh, for this one, Royal Romances, they don't exactly use fairy tales. The other ones use fairy tales to go medieval. This one uses um, politics, basically. So. Playa. It's my name. Been going by the bard lately. I find the bard memes misleading. I personally think the charm, um, I've played it before, is best used for things like bargaining um, in a neutral situation. So negotiating, that sort of thing, where you have backup, where you have like a barbarian with you or something like that. So we're challenging the stereotype. Episode 5, Ursula. So they released these on Big Fish, um, their series, and then you can either follow the characters, they'll have a series of characters. How or the dare story. you touch this book, you ignorant witch? This fount of wisdom, along with the spells inside, belongs to the Moon Elves. So, you learn your lesson. I'll have to deprive you of your magic powers. <laughs> You'll have a chance to get your powers back, but only if you're honest and transparent with everyone. Why do I not believe you, smoky-headed demon lady? I feel like this is going to be an unfair deal, but we'll see. Maybe the Moon Elves are nice people. Maybe I really did do something wrong. Oh no, my powers! We have to learn more about this spell. They usually, there's plunging. They usually plunge you right into it. Um, what you're going to do is pick up a something to keep track of your tasks and the maps, because they are completely interactive. Um, sometimes you'll find your hints thing. We already have it. So if you do ever need help, um, these progress very nicely. So it's lovingly hand-drawn art. Been making fun of the term since I found it. Um, it's got bonus side quests, so like you can do, um, seek and find if you want to. And then what it'll do is, um, interesting. It'll have like hidden collections and stuff like that. So, um, it does a frame by frame, the, um, Disney style storyboarding. I don't know if you've ever seen making of a Disney movie or if you have, you know, family, friends, etc. Um, they storyboard them. So that's what they do is they basically storyboard it for you. Dear Ursula. I'm currently out of the kingdom with King Elian on some extremely important matters, so I won't be able to pay you a visit anytime soon. Since you've become so interested in Moon Elves, I sent you a little gift on the subject to stay safe. Don't forget to fertilize the bonsai I gave you when it's hungry. It grabs everything within its reach. Ilda. Good thing Ir Ilda reminded me to fertilize the bonsai. Or else? Like, what are our options here? That felt like an or else statement. So here's my beautiful little bonsai tree. It's obviously miniature. While they use um, Seek and Find as a minigame, they're very minigame focused. So they're really trying to, um, you know, get you involved frame by frame. And then you can go forwards and backwards. So lunchtime. Give me the key friend. What is this? Seeds? I should try something else. A bonsai living tree. As opposed to bonsai what tree? Like, what are my options? From Ilda. Let's have a look inside the box. I also keep a crowbar in hand just in case I want to pop open mysterious boxes. A princess comb. These are gifts that every girl would want. Alright, so I found runestones and they let me buy stuff in my boudoir. Um, they let you demo literally anything. I'm a club member, so I just go through. Um, I pay them monthly. And then if I love the game, I download it. Um, but for these, I just download the demos. So I have something insane like 300 points. Um, so I just basically pay the monthly for it. Um, but if you are really picky and you want to try it before you buy it, that's definitely a good way to go. Show me the money. Where's it at? I feel like it's this. Is it that I have to cut it open and see that it's fertilizer? What are you? Groot, I found your... Sasha, I found Groot's uncle. Look at that. It is cute. I want these. Are you not seeing these runestones with me? Oh, wow. What do we have? We have... It looks like death. 
I want to say the Hierophant and then maybe the Fool. What is it? One, two, and eight. What kind of gypsy am I that I don't have this memorized, you know? Gingers would be so ashamed. Let's take a look here. Yes, I have a cool key. What could this unlock? Not this. Possibly things in here. You know, like don't hold back. Show me the money. What do we got? More runes? Because that one counts. The other one did not count. Oh my god, is this how I keep my scrolls organized? Do you kind of want to do this? Like, you're with me, right? You, you kind of want to organize your scrolls like this. Like, I want to find them by how they're crumbled. It would just speak to my lackadaisic lackadaisicalness. Are you able to nest that word? Is that the Nessie of words? Oh, uh, let's see here. Not that one, not that one, not that one, not that one, not that one. Which one are you? What is that? What is this even? It's not a real scroll. Is it this one? It's just, it, this was all a giant conspiracy to get me to look at that. You know, life is like that sometimes. You never know what you're going to get. We have a scroll case. Find the differences. So yeah, like I said, they use different games. You get the match three. That's really popular. Find the differences. If you do spam click, oh, I'm finding difference. That's, those are similarities, viewer. It's, you led me astray. I'll just blame you for it. Just take it for me. All right, there's one. I used to be good at these. There's like, oh, right there. Um, one of my trophies from my childhood here. Let's see. My father, Akatosh, um, passed away, so I just kind of absconded with that as my inheritance. It's one of the really old um, hidden picture puzzles. Callisto has been dutif dutifully, dutifully protecting the moon elves' knowledge for centuries. Long ago, Callisto was meant a powerful moon elf herself. She valued knowledge like no one else did. So what am I finding? Moon or elves here? Like... Six of one, half a dozen of the other. Oh, I'm finding moons. Okay, so let's see. Where are my happy little moons? Because every moon needs a friend. So we should find the rest of them. Moon. I do not see you. Yell at the screen. Tell me where the moon is. Friend, where is... I need a croissant moon. A croissant. Not here. Not there. Not everywhere. No. I can tell me. That is not a crescent moon. On her deathbed. Let's, so now we're going to find three deathbeds. Callisto vowed to protect the moon elf's legacy. Anyone who dares to get too close to it will be deprived of their magic powers. She can return it to them if she wishes. Well, at least it's reversed. See, that's nice. Because what if you do screw up? What if it's you, friend? What if it's you? Callisto's spirit is hard to find. She reveals herself only when she wants to, but her essence is tied, tied to the mirrors moon elves made. Find a mirror, rub its frame three times, and there she is. A little bit like a genie, but okay. See, and I wanted to rub the moon elves' frame spirit. We want spirits, though. Like, who am I? Under the growing moon, find three hidden objects in three seconds. Are you serious? Signs? I got nothing. Signs? It was not three seconds. We can't pretend here. It's we are men of action, you and I. Lies do not become us. I'll be damned. Will you? Ursula? Me? Is that That's, you? Yes, I now am I can Ursula. It is get I. Even with you, foolish witch. What did I do? With you dead, no one will ever have to suffer from forbidden magic again. They're suffering. Ah! Hey, stop. Oh, darn bandits have been doing wild lately. Where are the guards when people need them the most? Lunch? I'll come back for you, Glissando. Don't you doubt it. Little, little bit of overdone voice acting there. Usually a little bit better. They're kind of more blase. Wait. Hey there. I recognize you, Ursula. Sure I am. I doubt I can trust you after what you did to my brother. I have a history. But Look at me. helped us in the end. So I suppose I can return the favor. 
Probably Guess should. I had some business in town today. God knows what that mouth breather would have done to you if I hadn't shown up. You know, I'm Why just a girl. Are you so upset? Come on, you can tell me. I ran afoul of Moon and Moon Elf's protector. Your dialogue choices have an impact on the game's storyline. So, they're developing PC to mobile, and um, the producer, Big Fish, ironically. So, a lot of people submit things with different, you know, options. Now, since it's tap based, it's going to let us have dialogue options. Why are you so upset? I lost, I lost my magic powers. Tell you, fine. Are you happy now? Could have handled it myself. Thank you for saving Always my life. It's a pleasure. Now, tell me who or what took your powers away from you. I see. Thank you for being <laughs> so the dialogue open screen. with me. Well, what do you say we drown our sorrow somewhere? I could use a beer. I knows? mean, maybe you'll run into any given someone day. <laughs> who can help you get your powers back. There is a secret tavern called the Drunken Dragon, not so far Sounds from here. Sounds cool. I mean, it's purely for magic creatures. Oh, and rumor has it they serve the finest ale in the whole kingdom. Neat. Unfortunately, everyone who wants to enter needs to prove their magical side. I can't do that. The bouncers aren't going to take our word for it. Why would you do this to me? I'm um on a wanted list, so they definitely won't let me in. They want you for magic friend. powers out of commission. Being difficult. It looks like we're going to face some difficulties getting inside. Going through a window. Oh, I get a locket. That's nice. See, and I just get pretty things. Cause why would I not? Test complete. Learn more about the spell. I did. <laughs> Find a way to get inside the tavern. So we're gonna go have a drink. Um, just kind of chill out and progress the storyline. Like you said it's it's um. Involved insofar as it does try to draw you into a story. It wants you to love the characters or um, the story type. Uh, like I said with Living Legend. Wanted. Princes in the neighboring T Trondheim Kingdom. If you see one, report their whereabouts city guard. Interesting. It's an odd. Kind of kind of looking familiar, ain't he? Um, but interesting set of games. Uh, if you do like um, adventure... It's a great fix, you know, like, just to kind of get you through to the next um, really epic, you know, like Siberia or something, um, if you're that big of a fan. Good evening. To come inside, you need to prove you have magical powers. Can I bribe you? No. I have a magic wand. That's not the result I was hoping for. Me neither. Collect some playing cards and stuff. So, neat little side quests, really fun, um, interesting storyline in this one. Um, love the characters. Like I said, I've been following the storyline a little bit. Um, and I, I just like how it draws you in. So link in the description below. Also down there is Gamer Grind. Gamer Coffee shipped to your door. They'll put your logo on merch for like nothing bucks. Um, I stick mine on my I stuck mine on my phone and just carry it around. Um, they're awesome. Also KOL5. I have a chick of coffee one dollar make me smile. What else is down there? Uh, we just went on Patreon, so you can support us there if you want to join the tribe. <gasps> you can pet the kitty! That's awesome! Link for the game, obviously, is down there, and all my social media links. So we love you guys, you know, but liking, subscribing, that's, you know, the bomb. So subscribe, hit the bell, it's totally free. What it does is it pops up a little thumbnail, and if you don't go on YouTube, I don't think it bothers you. I don't see how it would. Um, but it'll just tell you what we put out for the day if you want to follow along with what's going on in gaming, if you just have a particular genre that you like or something, it'll just pop that up there and let you know, you know, what we're doing. So we love you guys. We love that you're always along for the ride, and we'll see you in the next video.